to see that, I say, goodness me, we have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's called the Ministry of Health. Yes. And it's such yes. a, you might think, such a humble kind of a thing, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you, you know, compared to other ministries which stand out very clearly, you know. Oh, yeah. But Arnold is not one of them ministries that stands out on a platform kind of a way, you know. But he's always behind the scenes, you know, right. and, and don't helping this person or helping that person yeah. and being there. Yeah. And you know something, I don't think I can ever remember a time when they asked Albert to do something for me that he said no. Mm. You know, when he, when he could do it, he always said yes. That's the truth, he always said yes. And you had a great confidence in asking him, you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, you really had a great confidence in asking him, so I'll always remember that. And I've known Albert since 1979, you know. <clears throat> and uh, we've always gotten on very, very well. And he's always been a blessing in my life. I just like to say thank you. 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 And at that time I was in depression and I had, sometimes I felt I can't come to the fellowship or something like that. Like that. And he was always encouraging. He said, even though you don't feel well, just come and just, just be in. You know, I got this encouragement. Uh, mm -hmm. And then later on I got rid of the depression. God healed me from depression. And, mm -hmm. and um, uh, then we had some jokes like uh, with Oliver. And, and um, uh, when we ask each other, how are you? And the answer is, uh, I, I'm dying, but I am full of life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, what I like. Always. <laughs> and he always encourages, like, like you know, he encourages every bit of my life, actually. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have to live up dog just now. Right? <laughs> 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 There's a few people looking for your trauma. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She, had a, she had just spoken already. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was thinking about uh, today and the celebration, I immediately thought of Moses and how he was um, called to do the biggest work he ever did when he was 80. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he, he actually... <laughs> no it's a good thing, it's a good thing. Because, you know, he had been hidden away in the wilderness for 40 years, as most of us know. And then he was, um, for those of you who don't know the story, he was walking with his sheep, he was just a sheep herder, and he saw this burning bush, and he, he was like, oh, why is that not being burned up? And when he turned aside to see why it wasn't burning, the Lord spoke to him. So, um, which I think is very significant, because the Lord can be speaking, it does speak all day long to us, but unless we turn aside, then we can't hear it. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, there's that aspect. And then he went, and it said that he, um, at first, as you've often said to me, I don't have the words, I can't say it as eloquently as other people, I can't do it like that, I'm not, I don't know how to share like other people do. But Moses said the same thing. And when I was reading the story over again this morning, you know, he said that. And so God um, actually got a little angry with him. And he said, fine, I'll give you Aaron. He'll be your spokesperson. And he'll do this and he'll do that. And you just tell him all the words. And I never noticed before, but by the fifth um, plague that he brought upon Egypt, Moses was the one speaking. So it wasn't always Aaron who took was the mouthpiece. By the time they got to the fifth plague, and Moses, I think, suddenly realized, wow, God really... When he says he's going to do something, he does it. So I can stand in the confidence of that. And so, okay, I can share your word now, Lord. And he, go, he went, and he was the one that held the rod, and he was the one that spoke the word. And so I just, I just wanted to encourage you. You've been such an encourager, as we've heard from many people today. Is it all true or none of it, Oliver? Or? <laughs> well, just put every word down, I actually put down. So that's not the <laughs> Oliver wrote that song. <laughs> Very good. Well, <coughs> first of all, I want to thank you all for uh, appearing here today. And so many of you have come a quite a good distance. And we haven't seen one another for quite a while, but nevertheless, the fact that you came here, it means something to me. It really does. Every one of you. 
you know you know who the, all those people are, Michael and Alison, all the people, Sandra and all, Caroline and Joan and Norman and many others, and everybody. <laughs> and uh, and it truly was a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting anything like this. I thought we're just going to have a, our own usual fellowship and then a little meal afterwards. And but but uh, there's on the hand there's walk on the hand walking on <laughs> because, because no one arrived at my door. And uh, he was cunning, he just came up to look at the football. <laughs> so, uh, and I wanted to look at the football as well, so I wasn't suspecting anything. So we had a good time up there looking at the football. But uh, I want to thank you all and uh, just thank you all very much for coming. Uh, I hope to get around you all eventually and, and just have a little talk with everyone here. So I, I appreciate and I want to appreciate all who took part in the uh, the buying of the food, the, the preparing of it, and everything that went in, and, and especially the secrecy. I'd say the FBI and the <laughs> MI5 would confirm fellas with you, <laughs> keeping it so secret. <laughs> so, once again, thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yeah. And if this is really in the car now, it's going to be dangerous, driving dangerous in the car. Because <laughs> <laughs> I won't be having fun. I'll be <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. It's really a wonderful surprise. I'm so happy. I am so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest and sincere and genuine. I'm so happy that every one of you came. I, I do appreciate it. That you, you thought it was a world to give up your day. And those of you who like looking at the football, that's that. <laughs> Get that up. Okay, thanks, thanks for giving up your afternoon. It's very unusual of him because I think, I think I could be corrected, but I think everybody who was asked came. And there's not many, there's not many events that you have. I think everybody who got asked came. You know, that mm. means something too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. When's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope in eighty years time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have another one of these now. Right? I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> the first you might be on your own, another eighty years old. So look, as I have a psalm that I'd like to read, um, um, Oliver's been such a wonderful, marvellous blessing to, you know, really every one of us, you know, and uh, we all have, you know, stories and, you know, different testimonies of the Lord's wonderful, you know, blessing to us through Brother Oliver, you know, and um, we all know all of our different lengths of time and so on, and when I first became a Christian almost 30 years ago, I first met Oliver, and that's, that was out of Mount Device almost 30 years ago, my goodness. Um, and I was always touched by his, you know, his gentleness and his kindness and, you know, the way he'd always kind of, you know, he'd always be there for you kind of thing, you know. But there was one particular time, um, about 20 years ago, where, and there's been many times Oliver's blessed me, um, but one particular time about 20 years ago, when I was, uh, there was something happening in my life and in my family's life, and uh, Oliver just arrived at the door, it's just almost 20 years ago now. And uh, Mary and Mammy would know what I'm talking about, but um, Oliver just arrived in the door, just at the very right time. And it was just such, a, he, he was just there and he was just a strength to us, you know, and he was really sent by the Lord uh, to us. So, um, yeah, yeah, Oliver, we're really very thankful to you for all that the, you know, the Lord has done through you and is doing through you, you know. So I'd like to read this, it's Psalm 91, okay, and it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the nice and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth and his shield shall be thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, 
Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil shall befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up with their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. Thou shalt trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. And with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Okay. Yeah, that's a blessing. And that's what the Lord has said. He's given us angels charge over you. So you're a blessing. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Anybody else like to say something? I'd just like to share something to Oliver as well. The uh, first time I met most of the people in this room was in Oliver's house. Mm -hmm. And I uh, went up and Oliver greeted me at the door. And, you know, I met everyone else. Wasn't so sure about everyone else, but I was sure about all that. <laughs> all that. So he, he always was a blessing to me, you know. Yeah. Uh, he always struck me with his, his sincerity and kindness. And um, more importantly than any of that is, I think I'm really feeling that t today is a testament of the Lord's, you know, word over Oliver. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord's uh, heart for Oliver. I see his heart, the Lord's heart for Oliver and all this, you know. I think that, you know, that's, that's a real blessing because I see the strength of the Lord, the Lord's encouragement in his life, the Lord's, the Lord's word over his life and the Lord's stamp on his life through all that, that's happening here today, you know. And I really think that's, that's a blessing that the Lord's involved in all this and the Lord's in his people together celebrating. Oliver, I believe, today as well, you know, so just want to testify the, the beauty that's in that as well, you know, and to, to encourage Oliver that he's always been strong in the Lord, that's right. mm -hmm. and even maybe more than he knows that's right. as well, you know, and the Lord sees it, the Lord knows what's going on, mm -hmm. so that's just a blessing I'd like to share. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I'd just like to say, Oliver, you know, when I saw you come in and saw the light of your countenance, my heart just left because it did my heart good to see you. It's been a long time. And, you know, um, you know, um, Oliver knew my late husband very well. And um, Horace used to say, a big battle, a big victory. And I see, Oliver, that you're walking in victory. And I really give thanks for that. And I do honor you, as many people have mentioned, you know, you care. It doesn't matter, you know, it's, it, whether it, you care for the unlovely, it doesn't matter. And I'll, you always have a place in my heart for the way when, you know, the last days of Horace's life that, you know, you made an effort to, you know, to go to the hospital to see him time and again. And I think that's the nature of you. And, um, you know, I just pray that God will continue to bless the years, the many years that you have ahead. Mm -hmm. And um, what, a, what a testimony to stand in, Oliver, mm -hmm. and see how God has used you. And, you know, we knew you when you went through some hard times. We all go through hard times. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, it, it's up to each one of us, you know, whether we look to him and come through them in victory. And you have done that. It's just a blessing. Mm -hmm. I just ask you. here 15 years ago but I guess it was at the time that um, Oliver retired and suddenly found himself without very much to do and um, it was like a time of going through the slough of despond wasn't it I mean it's hard to believe seeing the smile on your countenance but I don't know if you remember any of those dark days Oliver but um, what excites me so much is how I've been thinking recently about um, palm trees and how their strength, they get stronger through the storms. They actually put their roots down, roots down deeper through times of storm. 
and um, you came through that. And what, what is so encouraging me to, to me today is not just how God's blessed Oliver, but the growth I see in the family here. It's absolutely mm -hmm. lovely to see mm -hmm. because as all of us reached out and ministered to one another, you can just see the ministry of the body to the body. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. so lovely to see. It's, mm -hmm. it's yeah. hard to believe that you're the same person, but we have seen God bring you through a storm and it is wonderful to see. And this is just a testimony to that. Mm -hmm. It's really wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Blessing to continue to take the floor completely, but <laughs> I'd like to say two things. Um, I, I'm very bad at remembering people, um, really bad at remembering names and so forth, and so it should come to you as a. <laughs> you're you're a person who who I've always remembered right from the first time I met you. You've made an impression on me. Um, and not many people do that. So that's the first thing. So um, that's just maybe a good thing. <laughs> the, thing. the man in the sleigh All the times we pray And all the praises we sing Many years have gone by To share you and I but he remains always the same. He's a lovely conscience from the Lord he's been sent. As a gift of love he's come back. Because he longs to help us to call a wish out. And without him I wouldn't be there. Yay! He goes on walking and a looking and a praising God. In the name of the Lord he won't hear. He goes a-walking and a-driving and a-praising God With grace and power to say He goes a-walking and a-driving and a-praising God He never took his own He goes a-walking and a-driving and a-praising God Hallelujah, he always gets He gets up every day Walking, and those who fly in the rain, he knows who 